Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, we're going to talk about front matter and Hugo. Front matter is what you call metadata. In our case, front matter is data about our content files. So if we head over here into our content folder, you'll notice that I have just sort of a bunch of files that I've created um, in different directories. And I'm going to open up this a.markdown file. Whenever you create a content file in Hugo, Hugo will automatically add in some information up at the top of the file. And this is special information. This is called front matter. So uh, like I said, front matter is metadata. And so the information inside of the front matter is just defining some basic information about the content file. So it's not the content itself. It's information about the content. And generally, we store that in key value pairs, right? So uh, they're variables, right? So we have title, and this is the title. We have the date. And this is the date that the file was created. We have uh, this Boolean value, which is draft. And in this case, it's set to true. And so front matter is just key value pairs that provides us with some information about the file. Front matter can be written in three different languages. And those languages are uh, YAML, TOML, and JSON. Now, JSON is probably the most popular language uh, among the three of these. However, it's kind of the most syntax heavy. So the default language for front matter in Hugo is YAML. And you'll see that YAML is delineated by these um, three hyphens. Another common language for front matter is TOML. And TOML is actually the language that's used for this config file. And so you see this is a config.toml file. And the TOML looks very similar to YAML. Basically, they're, they're doing the same thing, and that's why they, they look similar. All three of these languages are, are, you know, are basically just used to define variables, right? To define our front matter. So if you don't want to use YAML, let's say you want to use like TOML, all you'd really have to do would be um, just change up, you know, these things. So in the case of TOML, you would use three plus marks, and you'd also have to use equal signs instead of uh, colons. You know, and so whichever language you like using, uh, that's you know, you can just use it in your files. Now, front matter is great because front matter can be used by Hugo templates and Hugo themes to display your information better. So I'm going to open up this uh, Hugo website on my browser. And you'll see that here we're over at the homepage. And again, um, just because of the theme that I'm using, uh, the homepage by default will list out all of the pages on my website. And so in this content folder, I have a bunch of these different files that were created, and that's why we're seeing this. And so the file that we were looking at is this a.markdown file. And you'll see here on the homepage, our Hugo theme can use some of the information in the front matter to display some information about this file. You'll notice up here we have the title of the page. Here we have uh, the date that the page was created. So if we head back over to... Uh, this text file, you'll see here's the title, which is A, and here's the date. And so if I modify these values in the front matter, they'll get changed in the actual website. So I could say um, this is A's title. And I could also change the date. So instead of the 9th, let's make it the 12th. And I'll save this. When we head back over to our website, you'll see that uh, this card that represents the A file has actually changed. And so uh, instead of just having A as the title, it has this is A's title, and it has uh, the date changed as well. So by modifying the values inside of this front matter, uh, the theme that we have set up will automatically update. And so um, we can use this front matter to, you know, basically just give the theme or give our layouts information about the files. And so by default, when you create a new Hugo file, these are the three uh, front matter values that get created. But you can also create your own custom front matter variables. And if you're using the um, Draft Academy theme, which you can find in, in the description below, you can also add in another custom front matter variable, which is called author. And so I can define an author. We'll just make it my name, Mike. And when I create this author value, uh, when we head back over to the website, when we click on um, this A file, you'll notice that inside of here, it will automatically populate the author field with an author. And so 
if we go over to, for example, this C markdown file, you'll notice that there's no author here. And that's because I haven't added in uh, the author value into this C markdown file, right? There's no author here. But inside of a.markdown, there is an author. And so when I go over to that A file, it populates the A page with the author. And so, you know, using front matter can be a really powerful way to uh, help organize your site and help provide information about the content files in your site. So really you can create any sort of uh, front matter variable that you want. So, you know, if I wanted to have something like language, right, I could define what language um, this markdown file is written in. I could do something like that. You can create as many front matter variables as you want. And as you get more advanced with Hugo, you'll learn how to access these variables inside of a Hugo template. So front matter is very powerful. You're definitely going to want to take advantage of it in your Hugo site. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.